Hey guys, welcome back to The Crockett Way. I am so happy to have you here and excited to be doing this video because today we will be making flourless blueberry banana pancakes. Now, I know you're probably thinking, how the heck can you make flourless pancakes? Well, I am going to show you in this video. This is a very healthy and delicious alternative and it's super easy to make. So if you want something that the kids will love, you will love, go ahead and keep watching. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. So what we'll need for this recipe is one cup whole oats, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, two ripe bananas, one fourth teaspoon of salt, three strawberries sliced, two eggs, one third cup of blueberries, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of cooking oil, and one tablespoon of honey. Now to start the recipe, we're gonna grab those two ripe bananas and peel them. Now it's totally up to you if you wanna use very ripe, medium ripe, or extremely ripe bananas. The riper the bananas, the sweeter the pancakes will be. All right, so now that we have the bananas peeled, we're gonna go ahead and cut the bananas. Now, you can do what I do here by using a knife and cutting the bananas in small chunks, or you can just simply pull them apart. It's totally up to you. Now I'm gonna take the banana chunks and place them into my Ninja Bullet. Now I'm gonna take one cup of whole oats, and these are just the Quaker whole oatmeal oats that you can use, and we're just gonna place them right into the Ninja Bullet along with the bananas. Next, we're gonna put in the two eggs right into the Ninja Bullet with the bananas and the whole oats. And here we're gonna go ahead and add that one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Next, you're gonna go ahead and add in that one teaspoon of baking powder. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and add in one fourth teaspoon of salt. And last but not least, one half teaspoon of cinnamon. And finally, now that we have all the ingredients incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on the Ninja Bullet and get these amazing ingredients mixed together. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm using a Ninja Bullet, but if you have a blender, you're more than welcome to use that. Or a hand mixer, you are more than welcome to mix the ingredients together using those items. You don't have to have the Ninja Bullet to do so, as long as you have something that can mix ingredients really nice and smooth, because that's what we're looking for with these pancakes. Even now, you can see just how smooth and creamy the mixture is. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the pancake mixture into another container, just so that it would be a little bit easier for me to transfer the pancake mixture to the frying pan. So now I'm gonna take that one third cup of blueberries and add them to the pancake mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a spoon and gently fold the blueberries into the mixture. So let's get a close up on how smooth and creamy the pancake mixture is. And this is what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna grab my single burner electric portable stove, which I absolutely love this thing, by the way. So now you see me here adjusting the settings to medium heat because you don't want it to be too hot or not hot enough. Here I'm using about one teaspoon of olive oil to the pan. And I'm also gonna use a paper towel to just kind of distribute the oil all over the pan. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add about two pretty generous spoonfuls of the pancake mixture. Mm -hmm. 
Here I let the blueberry banana pancake cook about one to two minutes on one side or until I start to notice the little bubbles that appear on the surface of the pancake. This is always a huge indicator of when it's time to flip the pancake. And as you can see, the pancake has that beautiful golden brown color. And that is the color that you're looking for, unless you're like some people who like their pancakes a little bit darker around the edges. So I'll show you how we do that again. You wanna grease the pan again and wipe it with a paper towel, just like before. And you're gonna add two generous amounts or it's totally up to you how much you want to add to the pan and you just want to make sure that you spread it nice and flat now these pancakes are so dense and so heavy it's unbelievable but they are so moist and so delicious if you don't tell your kids that these are flourless pancakes they would never know I'm telling you they taste absolutely amazing and also, if you have kids who absolutely hate oatmeal, well, this is your way of getting them to eat their oatmeal because it's pancakes and most kids love pancakes. I know mine do. You can also make waffles with this pancake mixture as well. So if you have a waffle maker, I say go for it. I'm definitely gonna give it a try in the waffle maker myself. Now that we have the pancakes all cooked, Look how delicious they look, guys. I'm telling you, these pancakes really have some weight to them. Then you wanna take those strawberries and just top them or whatever, your favorite topping. Here I'm using strawberries and also organic honey, and it is absolutely delicious, guys. Just look at that. Look at that, oh my goodness. I'm telling you, you will not regret this. And they taste so good so moist and so delicious you gotta try this you gotta mm -hmm. yummy i hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration from this healthy alternative who would have known you can make pancakes without using any flour and again like i mentioned before guys it tastes so good my kids absolutely love them they eat them for breakfast every morning before starting their virtual classes so give it a try and let the kids try it and see what they think guys i'm telling you you won't regret it i want to thank Reed does that for these amazing aprons she customized for us here at the crockett way as you can see she put a nice and very professional touch on these aprons She's made t-shirts for us and even handbags for me. So if you want something customized, whether it be t-shirts, handbags, whatever, she does it all. I will put her link in the description of this video so that you can find her. I'm telling you, she is amazing. Her prices are wonderful and she is just an all around amazing person. So be sure to check out Re Does That. I'm telling you, she will have you looking as good as we look here in this picture. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as part of our family here at the Crockett Way. Thank you and God bless.